just want to remind everyone to visit our website, www.stogiegeeks.com, for all the latest cigar reviews, sticks that we've been smoking, and podcasts and videos, audio, all the stuff from the Stogie Geeks can be found on our website. I want to always mention that every cigar that we talk about on the show um, is on our website. We take a picture of it. We give a mini review of it, and you can find all And we rank every single cigar that we smoke on the show. So if you're listening to the show, recommend it to a friend, and make sure you tell them, hey, every cigar we smoke, you can find on their website. You knew they're categorized by who smoked them and their rankings. So if you want to go look at the Oasis Cigars, which are the, the highest ranking that we have here at the Stogie Geeks. You can go look at those. In fact, I was looking at those today. There's some epic smokes on our Oasis, which kind of segues into our next um, segment here. I do want to say thank you to Alex S., who is in the chat room now, um, for those wonderful... <laughs> I, just, I just offered Alex some day do so. Yes, yeah. I don't have many left, but I, I am willing to send them. We some. need to reciprocate. Yeah, I'll, was I'll very, send them was something very, too. Very generous. And, um, I, I didn't think they were that grab, bad. Grab some more uh, towels from you too next week. Yeah, all of yeah. Me. I'll, I'm like, going to give you a bunch. Um, okay, so we're now on. Uh, this is episode 37. We are now on our segment for the show, and also we've lit up some new cigars here. Uh, Stogie Sand and I have lit up the Viaje Oro, and this is a different size. Mm -hmm. This is um, the La Piquena. It means small. La Piquena. Piquena. Because there's a little tilde over there. Piquena. La Piquena. I'm going to hold the box here. Um, Stogie Sand acquired these uh, from goodkarmacigar.com. They've got a donkey on the, on the, that's pretty cool, uh, on the box. And, uh, it's very good. I just lit mine up. I love the Oro. Mm. I love the Oro, but this box smells amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Stick your nose in that. Oh, it's a whole bunch of goodness coming from there. Yeah. Um, thank you very much, Stogie Santa, for mm -hmm. acquiring those for us. Uh, something we might not have been able to smoke otherwise. And um, can you tell us anything more about this no, cigar? Uh, we, it was a special release for that store, or what's Correct. the deal? That's what, it's a special release for them. Uh, the input, I wish you would. I don't know the exact blend and whatnot. Mm. I had that. Maybe you can pull that up. Yeah. While you're talking, while well, Tim, you want to start the next segment or? Okay, I can do that. Okay, go ahead. So we're talking about our favorite limited edition hard to find cigars. Um, I wasn't completely sure what we we're talking about, so I included some very limited cigars, but also some aged cigars that you really can't find anymore. Um, the first one on my list, Paul. Well, let me stop by saying yeah. everything on this list is oasis to me. Yeah, mine uh, too. Mine too. Um, also, you know, I want to. We're going to talk about some very limited cigars. And the goal of this segment was to describe to our listeners the ones that are worth chasing. And I think that's a really important thing because we talk a yes. lot of you know limited cigars. Mm -hmm. And the big question is always, you know, should I chase it? Should I not chase it? Should I trade for it? Which mm -hmm. one should I seek? We want to give you our opinion. I think there's going to be a lot of overlap. I think for the most part, the ones we rank Oasis, really, there's not much question. Uh, there may be some de debate uh, amongst us, but I think for the most Absolutely. part, we're in agreement. Um, I also want to say, for those of you that um, say, well, I want some cigars that are more accessible, a future segment, maybe even on the next show, could be our top regular production cigars. Mm -hmm. We've done segments about our top budget cigars. We may redo that in an update mm -hmm. that segment and continue... Uh, to redo these segments kind of as time goes on and, and we've kind of built and, and morphed our list. So we're not, I don't want to leave anyone out that people that don't like limited cigars or can't get them or whatnot or, you know, people that want budget smokes. Maybe we'll do a segment on our top five favorite sticks of $30 or more, <laughs> you know. Um, so we want to hit both ends of the spectrum. Uh, and So, sorry, that was my introduction. Yeah. Tim, once you start up, we're going to look up this. Uh, did you light up something else? Uh, yeah, I did a, uh, a Toro Fuerte 858 Florfina, actually, which is a, um, if you will, a budget cigar. Five bucks and change, nice. I believe. Um, solid smoke, Cameroon wrapper. Um, I enjoy them, you know. Um, had it sitting here in front of me and said, you know what, I know that's going to burn right and smoke great, so that's where I lit up. Um, first one on my list is, I believe one on your list, is the Padrone Millennium, Paul. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
Um, you know, Paul Joyo gifted us some of these a while back. I had it. I believe these were released in 2000. Or did they re-release these? No, they didn't re-release them. No. Okay, so I am correct. Okay, correct. Um, I said Paul is right. This is an epic smoke. Um, a lot of flavor, even after more than a decade. Complexity, balance. Um, I also said smoke them if you got them. Um, I don't think they're going to age any more than they already have. They're going mm. downhill. Not yeah. downhill, they're, they're, they've gone past the peak. Yeah, they're past the peak. Um, I enjoyed every second of the smoke. I'm so glad that he gifted us this the smoke because um, mm-hmm. it's something you probably normally wouldn't find. Um, I'm not even sure what MSRP were on these things and oh, what they're they, going right for now. now. They're, they're, I saw them out on a net of 50 bucks. Yeah. It's crazy. Um, it's crazy, but. Epic smoke. Epic smoke. Um, definitely in my top 10 that I've ever smoked. Mm-hmm. Um, Oasis all the way. Um, enjoyed every second of it. So. Um, so this was a special release for Good Karma Cigars, mm-hmm. uh, the La Piquena. Uh, in Am- the store is in Amarillo, Texas. Texas yeah. It's a four and three quarters by 50 slash 52 Perfecto. Mm-hmm. It was originally released to Habana, Habana Smoke, Smoke Shop, Shop in 2010, right. along with the Platino 558. Um, now 80 boxes of 25 will be available to Good Karma. Uh, for an event with Andre Farkas, uh, these you have to call the store at their number with a discounted price of one ninety uh, for twenty five. Mm-hmm. Um, in addition, we could confirm half with three sides of skull and bones, uh, and that's really all we know about uh, this cigar. We can. Uh, I'll, I'll find it. I'll, I'll yeah, get, we'll get the, the blend. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I mean, just right off the bat, I'm getting some great flavors. Yeah. I've been kind of doing some other stuff while I'm smoking it, but. Okay, let's get back to our Epic here. Mm. Back to Epic Smoke. Sorry. I'm, uh, uh, so, I know I've talked about this on the in the past. It, every time we talk about Epic Limited Smokes, um, this one comes to mind. Uh, and that's the, uh, the Opus X BBMF Maduro. Oh. I mean, to me, this just makes every one of my must-smoke lists. Uh, it lives up to the name. It lives up to the price. It's amazing. You have to try this one. Everyone has to try once in their lifetime. It's a gigantic smoke. Um, it's just awesome. I, I just love this smoke. I mean, the, it's unbelievable. The flavors, the smoking experience, everything about this cigar. It's highly limited, uh, really, to get one. So I'll talk a little bit about how I acquired some of the ones that I have. Uh, I bought them on auction for $60 each. I bought three of them at $60 each. That's Ouch. how good they are. Um, and it's a big smoke, too. So, I mean, yeah, you're paying a lot. It, it, you know, it's probably uh, as much tobacco or more as you get. I mean, 60 ring in its largest uh, size, but it holds up in that large ring gauge. Mm-hmm. Um, also, you can spend the $900 and buy the uh, CFCF um, coffin box uh, and usually get at least one of those uh, in that as well. So Absolutely. Every single uh, release of these is just epic. They're epic. I also had the Pedro Millennium on my -hmm. list as well, Tim. Uh, If you're wondering if these are all the cracked up to be, they are. Uh, Even now, it's still one of the best smokes I've ever had. I mean, cedar, sweetness, coffee, nuts. Stogie Santa with the uh, Pedro Millennium. Got to be one of the best smokes ever. Um, It's the best Padrones I ever had in my life, by far. And you love Padron. I love Padron. Now, you said uh, 2005 were on these. Where did you get that from? I was just curious. What's what's that? 2005? No, when were these released? 2000, right? 2000. 2000, in the millennium. I didn't say 2005, did I? I think you you were talking about the millennium. I'll fix that then. No, 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 no. You don't have it in the notes. He was talking about the... He's going back and forth on that, Tim. He was saying the 2005 on, a, on the Millennium Robusto. I think. Oh, the Millennium. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Again, another one on my list, Tim. Uh, I don't know if this made your list or not, but um, on my list, I had a Davidoff Millennium Brun. Were those from 2005, Stogie Santa? Yes. Um, oh, what they fuck? Oh, they were just. That that had to be one of the best cigars I've ever had. I agree with you. I thought you were those. talking about <laughs> yeah. your own. Yeah. I don't have any more. <laughs> Um, I wish I wish I could say that. No, I, if I did, dude, they'd be out here for uh, some nights. Oh my today. god! I would, uh, uh, so I don't know what the story was behind it, but there was a box of Davidoff Millenniums from 2005, and I don't know if if that was the blend at that time, mm-hmm. or if just that blend age. just aged, or it's a combination of the two. I've heard uh, Mark Junior mentioned something about you know uh, growing conditions. The blend has slightly changed over mm-hmm. time. 
Um, that was just an amazing smoke. I, I don't rem- begin to remember the flavors or anything from it, but I, all I know is it was that was just a magical, magical well, smoke. I went back to my um, at the time I was keeping a pretty um, detailed journal. Yeah. Oh, good. So I actually quoted what I wrote um, a couple of years back when I smoked this, and I said, uh, "Complex, smooth, and elegant." I completely lost myself in the cigar and didn't even notice my wife had come out on the deck to talk to me. Naked. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's pushing her. I kind of woke up from the smoke and noticed that she was just watching and smiling. And com- she commented that she didn't want to disturb me because I seemed no. lost in the smoke. Now, you know something? That's, that's a wife. That's She's a keeper. <laughs> I was completely lost in the smoke. Oh. I didn't even notice that she was there. And God love her. Yeah, yeah. She just sat there smiling at me, watching me, because she knew I was enjoying every second of that smoke. Yeah. It was completely awesome. And I wish I had more, but it is what if it is. If anyone has any Davidoff Millennium Robustos from 2005, please contact us. StogieGeeks <laughs> at gmail.com. <laughs> we'll make it worth your while. I got, I got a saw right there hanging up in the workshop. Here's my right arm. <laughs> You know, I'm, I'm looking at uh, when we get to Timmy's second one on there. There's another one on that blend that's really good. Oh yeah, Tim, why don't you talk about that one? Okay, uh, Paul Camerian, Reserva Exclusiva Corona. Um, I believe these are from 2004. Stogie correct, Santa? correct. Okay. I still have a handful of these left. I'm not sure how I have hung on to them. Um, honestly, I, I think it's a little bit of um, I don't know hoarder. Type personality going yeah, on hoarding, here. hoarding tendencies. <laughs> yes, um, yeah. I only have a few we'll left. Put you um, on uh, TV there. Uh, these are fantastic. I actually mm-hmm. reviewed it a year ago. I said Oasis. Um, I, I use the word exquisite in my review, and I hold to that. Oh, it ah. is absolutely one of the best smokes I've had in the last year. Um, it's certainly Oasis, and I, I think that sums up the experience right there. Alone. And, and what you got to try is the Panatella. Uh, oh, yeah, that, the Panatella may be, may, and we've talked a, at length about the Reserva Exclusiva Corona mm-hmm. and the Grand Panatella in the same blend from Paul Camarion. And from 2004, mm-hmm. oh my God, they're both, I would, I would agree. I, if I hadn't ranked those Oasis, I, I, would, I would definitely say they're Oasis. Mm-hmm. And the Panatellas are very, very hard to find. Yes, they are. Now, has anyone smoked the newer ones? No, I, I have not. not. Oh. I'm curious to see how they compare. I wonder how much age has affected mm. that blend. Right. Exactly. And I think it well, and that's a tough blend to find. Mm-hmm. Period. Never yep. mind finding ones from 2004. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree with your assessment there, Tim. That's definitely that's definitely a keeper. Something you uh, you cherish when you smoke it. I'll, I'll probably be pulling uh, one of those out on my Christmas vacation this year. Uh, so I'm just yeah. A couple of weeks off, so. So that's what we got to do. We got for for our Christmas party. We we got to bring over all epic smokes so we can sit here and enjoy those. Because mm. I got a couple on those lists. Not many. Did you have anything in mind to smoke on December twentieth, Tim? Uh, I did not actually. Oh, there you go. What would you want to smoke? Well, I was draw millenniums. <laughs> a whole box of the Paul Grimarian Reserve Exclusive. <laughs> have you had Have you had the Penatellas yet? I have. Um, either you or Paul gifted me one mm-hmm. last year, yeah. and it was equally as good as Corona. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah, uh, it really is. Uh, equally as good. Um, okay. So, I out one. of this list, what would you want to smoke two weeks from now? Patrol your Mala. list. Your, uh, the the, what we, the millenn- Come on, you're killing me. Um, BBMF Maduros. <laughs> <laughs> I know you. Uh, I'm asking I'd Tim. I'll probably go with the uh, Millennium or. Or the um, the Paul Gamarian. I've All got right. I've got Paul Gamarians. Yeah, we've got those. I mean, I don't have any more of those. <laughs> <laughs> You're learning. <laughs> okay, we'll do that. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill this. Th- we're gonna. Well, rock. the fourth one on my list is pretty high up there too, but yeah. I'm pretty sure nobody has those. So yeah. We'll, we'll oh, I know. Those. That's not, I, that's not even in yeah. the picture. Well, I've got one on my list like that too. Uh, which coincidentally we don't link to either because we we don't have pictures. But anyway, on my list, EP Carrillo Limitada 2010. Mm-hmm. It's Oasis, man. Oh, I mean, I love that. Smoke. And it's not something I don't think I would sit down with that smoke 
It's one of the few ones on my list. I wouldn't sit down with a smoke with a glass of scotch or bourbon. Mm-mm. I think it would overpower it. It would, it would kill it. And there, but Except there are so the many. Akintosh talk or whatever. Akintosh. Uh, oh, that would go. Akintosh in twelve years, good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The Limitada 2010, I think, is EP Carrillo's best blend. It's his most limited blend. Yeah. That's why it made the list for me because they are ridiculously hard to find. Um, I I would pay probably twenty bucks a stick for them now. If anyone has them, I, I really would. I pay two hundred dollars for a box at least. Um, they're the mildest cigar on my list. It pours flavor. The flavors are very subtle, but it makes changes throughout and has this amazing flavor. And I think that's what separates some of the ones out on my list. One of the few cigars I put yeah. down, and I just I could go back to back to back to back. To oh, back. oh, they're amazing. Tim, have you ever had this smoke? I don't think so, man. And here's uh, the maybe he actually. I've had the segue. 2009, which is the inaugural, right? The 2009 yes. is very, very, very good. Different. Very, very yeah. different. I don't know if it's Oasis. It's certainly box worthy. I don't um, think it's an Oasis. No. The Limitada 2010 sticks out as being. That's the difference. It's Oasis. The yeah. 2009 Hands is box down. worthy. Yep. Hands this down. is the new uh, uh, EP Carrillo Edition Limitada 2012. I'm holding up for the camera right now. It's got some. Uh, it, I don't know. It's got some oils leaking from it as I squeeze yeah. it, which is kind of strange. It's making me kind of nervous. It likes when I squeeze it, I guess. Yeah. Um, feels a little soft to me, though. Like, it it mm-hmm. uh, needs a little age. I mean, these just came in, um, so probably need some time to mm-hmm. uh, to age at, to age a little mm-hmm. bit. But uh, these look exactly like yeah, the Dark Rituals. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. They, they, they smell really? a little different, though. Yeah. I noticed a certain online retailer still has some Doc Rituals left, too. Oh, so. we, we have some of those left. Yeah. Do you really? Yes, okay. we do. Those are smoking I'm great. I might have there. to revisit those, actually. Oh, those. That, that, the big thing comes out of the 2000, uh, out of Doc Ritual. I think of, of that cherry flavor. I love yes, that Doc the dark cherry, cherry flavor. Yeah. Absolutely. Definitely, yeah. It was epic. So, Tim, what's the next one on your list? Yeah, I forgot to write a description of this. I'll have to fix that. Um, it's the Padilla Signature 1932. Oh, those are phenomenal. Phenomenal cigar. Those uh, are very uh, good. This was one of the original releases. Um, I specifically enjoyed the Robusto. Um, sorry, I forgot to write a, a description on this one. But, yeah, I love this smoke. And, and thank you, Paul, because you sold me uh, pretty much every single one you had left, I think. I did because, I mean, I thought they were good, and I smoked a handful of them. And I felt like I had my fill of them, and you liked them so much more than I did. Um, it's something special to me, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, I, I pull one out every six months or so, and I smoke it, and I, I absolutely enjoy it. No, I'm glad. That's good. And I'm not sure if it's the age or if it's just the original release, Perfect but I, I really spice. love these smokes. And um, that was a Pepin Garcia? Yes, it was. Uh, now, that was but, uh, Pepin uh, Garcia original. Yeah, right. Original, yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, really love them. Mm-hmm. Next up on my list, uh, th- this one's kind of a tough one because uh, I smoked a couple of Cohiba Limitadas, uh, Cohiba Limited Editions, uh, with some significant age on them, and I can't remember uh, which exact ones they were. Thirty-five. It, it might have been. Yeah, I don't 35, remember. Thirty-five. I'm going to tell you. But something. I know it's I, on. I a, guarantee it was a thirty-five. It's on people's lists as being some of the most epic cigars they've ever smoked. To some of these Cohiba. Limited editions, and the, the I had to put that on there. I had, I felt like I had to pay homage to uh, some of the Cuban uh, releases, and for me, the Cohiba limited editions stand out to me as being just unbelievable. The, the 35th, I've been trying everywhere to get those. That's a 35th anniversary, is what they call that. Oh, that, I'm not a huge Cohiba fan. Um, you know, I, I pick and choose my I battles. Pick and choose, with, yeah. I, I pick and choose with Cohiba. Yeah, too. me too. But that, yeah. and, and that's. And their limited editions are the most. Oh, what's the word I'm looking at? Um, when they, when it, what, what is it? When they uh, copy them? What's the word I'm trying to look for? Uh, black market uh, for lack of the, the uh, most imitated. Imitated. The, anytime you see them, and you don't know the site, and they say they got them, don't even buy them mm. because it, it, it's it's not there. It's just not. That there. man says in the chat room that each and every one has a certain shape, so it shouldn't be hard to figure out. Oh yeah, that's true. You got torpedo. Yeah, you got. Uh, yeah, it's true. I got some sites, Paul. If you really want to know which one it is, so uh, uh, I guarantee it's a thirty fifth. Yeah, uh, there's uh, there's been some epic Cohibas that I smoked um, with a lot of age on them that were just 
it's magical experiences. Oh, oh remember the remember when we did 2003 that robusto? Oh, that robusto was really good too. A regular Cohiba <laughs> yeah. robusto with with age on it is amazing. Oh, I, I, yep. yeah. So anyway. Yeah, so Cohiba uh, made my list of Cubans, and I've smoked a, a fair amount. Um, uh, Tim and I have a mutual friend that shared some uh, some aged. Uh, yes, say he did, <laughs> and a lot of it was limited stuff. And the Cohiba ones definitely stuck out in my mind. Now, Tim, for you, you had a different one that stuck out in your mind. Yes, um, and I want to say hi to William from CigarCoop dot com. He's in the chat room right now. Oh, hey, uh, hey, CigarCoop, big fan of your site, dude. We great it website. All the time. So, um, one of the best. Uh, sites out there as far as i'm concerned so yes. mm -hmm. absolutely um uh, but back to the list um yeah so hoff um romeo e juliet hermosas limited edition number two from 2004 um awesome awesome i only smoked one of these it's probably one of the most memorable cubans i've smoked um so smooth and refined is what i quoted here um Maybe it was the blend, maybe it was the age. I don't know, but wow. Um, yeah. I wish I could get my hand on some more of these um, to smoke them again. I, so. I got the number fours that are really good. 2006 got a really good. Now, Stogie Santa. I thought you been, didn't have any more of those, Stogie Santa. You've been. Uh, For you, yes. <laughs> you've probably smoked more of the Cuban limited releases than, than Tim or I have. You've been smoking, I think, longer Absolutely. than we have, uh, certainly. Yep. Is there any ones that stick out in your mind while we're kind of on the subject? You know, I mentioned Cohiba. Tim mentioned the Romeo and uh, Julieta. Mm -hmm. For you, for, for me, the Cohiba, it, the thirty-fifth. It just yeah. melts me away. It just it was. I I, I I just love that cigar. Love that cigar. That that just hands down for me anyway was that one. Mm. And, and 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 another one that I we put down as an epic 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 smoke was the Avo 2005. Yeah, you guys said that in the last show. Yes. Oh, and you say you may have that in your humidor. Mark you, Jr. You, Mark oh. Jr. said he may have oh, some I, of those. Oh, yeah. I'm going to tell you something. We've got to talk to him to bring those in. I'll tell you, thank you, Johan uh, from, from Davidoff. He, he gave me a box of those. And that lasted maybe two weeks. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe, maybe two weeks. Wow. I could... I'll tell you what. You know what it paired with the best? Are you going to think I'm out of mouth? You guys won't. Orange juice? <laughs> no. <laughs> no <laughs> grapefruit juice. No. Was oh, a, <laughs> that's just disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> was a black cup of coffee. Really? Oh, I'm telling you. Unbelievable. So unbelievable. that's on, so that's the, on your list. Yeah. Uh, Cohiba 30. What else is, it floats up to the top of your mind? But Millennium's got to be a Pedro Millennium. Millennium. And the then uh, the Casador uh, Romeo and Juliet. I love that. And one of the stronger of the mm -hmm. um, um, Cuban blends. I, I really, really enjoy that smoke. The Casador, you got to check that out. That, that, you know, I was looking color. through the Oasis ones just to round out the, the Cuban um, category in, in uh, limited is the um, what is the other uh, what's it called? Nineteen sixty six. SS one. SS one. Oh, the punch. SS one. Super and selection one yep. was a very limited release. Yeah, but construction uh, could be hit or miss. On construction oh, yes. can be hit or miss. When yeah. you get one that burns well, though, and that's on my Oasis list for the site. So. Yeah, and another one was the Potagus Varnished eight nine eight. Yeah, those are really good too. Oh, when they burn right too, man. Oof. Oh, they were. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yes. Okay, so one of um, the few Churchills I really that was a Churchill, right? No, that that wasn't a Churchill. No, I think it was like okay. more of a Corona. Okay, Corona size. So Not Tim, uh, Tim, the last one. Oh, so I'll talk about one more, and then Tim will talk about my last one. I'll talk about my last one. So I had the Opus X Love Affair. I don't. No, oh. you know, I mean, you know me. I'm an Opus X whore. Um, and there are two say. two sizes uh, <laughs> on my list. Um, well, because a lot of the Opus X sizes are limited, um, and the BBMF Maduro is one. Opus X Love Affair is the other. It's actually a very similar size to the one we're smoking now, Stogie Santa. Yeah. Um, it's just one of my favorite sizes of all time. I mean, even with less than a year of age or a couple of years of age, these things are just phenomenal. They just pour flavor. It's not that over-the-top nicotine. I don't know what mm. they did differently in the blending of this size. They did something different because it doesn't have that over-the-top. Um, strength to it. It's just my favorite Opus X sized cigar. Yeah, that one that you gave me was just, oh. Yeah, I gave you and Tim one just to oh, see what I, I was talking about. I, I, I uh, couldn't believe it. I, oh, when I left the yeah. Studio B, I was like halfway I, I, I got to be honest. I'm not an Opus guy. 
but it's the best opus I've ever had. Oh man, hands down. I mean, I, 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 I got again. to agree with that. I, I first and that I can't thing, believe what you paid for them, but you but know. It, I'll tell you what, and it just grew on you. Like the first third of the cigar it just keeps getting better and better. And I'll tell you, talk about a little powerhouse that sneaks up on you. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh man, I tell you, talk about head rush for me anyway. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Um, and still had that sweetness, which I it loved. Did, that opus oh. sweetness, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, I, I can't disagree with you on that one. And those are super hard to find. Mm. Those, like, never come out. Mm. Now, you do get a love affair um, in the uh, CFCF uh, Cigar mm-hmm. Family Charity Foundation box. Yes. Uh, the coffins. You sometimes get two, sometimes you get one. Uh, but there is usually a love affair in there. And at one time, they released it to stores here in Rhode Island, I bought one several years ago uh, from a local shop. Sadly, I only picked up one or two. I smoked it right away. I was like, oh, my God. And then they were gone. A lot of earth, huh? Yeah. The earth, but a, a kind of a sweet earth. Mm. Really, this is going to age very well. Mm. These are only like two weeks old that I got. I, I, mm-hmm. Again, just been released. Very oh, yeah. happy with this cigar. Tim, back to you. So the last one on my list, um, not aged per se, but can be difficult to find. It is the Liga Provada Dirty Rat. Um, wow, you really love these, huh? See, I don't, I, I don't I, get, I enjoy really, them. I don't get that. From, yeah, maybe I'm I've, missing something. Oh, I, I agree with Timmy on this one. 100%. I know Mark Jr. agrees with me, too, mm. dude. Oh, you that's, put, you, you guys said, always rhyme me because I'm like, ah, I, uh, I know you think it's pricey, but if you put three to six months on these things... They smoke great. And I poured these things. I poured them. I have them in my humidor. I save them for special occasions. I really love this stick. It's my favorite release from Drew Estate. Um, even By beyond far. the T-52 Flying Pigs, yep. um, which also all are my favorite. Them, any of them. I, I agree. I agree. That's my favorite. Seven different blends hey, on a little you, Corona. Can you guys talk about cigars for two seconds? I sure. just got to go yeah, run and do something. Hold on. No, okay. but, but continue. Smooth. Smooth, flavorful, balanced. What a joy to smoke. Mm-hmm. Poor smoke, poor flavor. It's an hour plus of pure enjoyment that I get every single time I smoke one of these. Oh, it, it, it's, it's and I'll buy, I'll buy a box every single time they release them, and I can get my hands on them. Right. And I was talking to Ozzy down at Jewish States. That that's the that's what they're working on now. So this ought to be interesting. Hopefully, they can keep it somewhat close to what the original was. You know, again, being being Mother Nature. As we all know, uh, because of what's going down, too much, as everyone's saying, too much moisture, too much. But what are the they crops? saying the next release is going to be released? Do you know, Stogie Sailor? Uh, that, you know, when it comes to Jewish states, I just don't know. Uh, they'll be no, here when they get there, as, as Marvin would say. You know what I mean? I can't, I, I won't even, as soon as I come in the store, a box. That's it. Hands down. I enjoy yeah. them. I'm, I'm on board with you. I'm not a, 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 the different sizes for different strokes, different folks. But by far, that rat to me, uh, I, I it's you know I've I've had all the different sizes. It's really good. They got the velvet rat coming out. It's supposed to be getting some What's of those. What's the velvet rat? It's a bigger. You size. know what? The Radzilla had some of the same characteristics uh, after a few months of age. After a few months of age, not close. But it wasn't the same to me. Mm-hmm. It was not the same to me. I will buy a box of these as soon as they hit the shelves again yeah. and let them sit for six months. And I know, uh, I hope, anyways, that, that they're going to smoke great. I mean, I, I've enjoyed every single release. Mm-hmm. But the no. most, I think it's the most consistent of the releases. Although, I, I agree. I you know, and, and they're not released that much. But, again, and, and I'm I not. I think um, Rot, right off the truck, they have a little bit more strength that I prefer oh. up front. Mm-hmm. But, like I said, a few months of age, and, boy, they're right on for me, anyways. Mm-hmm. So That bourbon... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's going really well with this Oro. Oh, isn't it? Go. You, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm enjoying myself. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I got that little tickle on the bottom of the shorts here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's oh, really, really good. good. Wow. Timmy, you're more, if you want a fiver, let me know. I tell you what, we just stumbled upon a pairing by accident. This is Elijah yeah. Craig bourbon. It's how much a bottle? That's uh, this, this Elijah Craig. Only 20. T- this is a 29.99. Twenty nine ninety nine Elijah Craig Elijah Craig Elijah Craig, Elijah Craig, is Craig, Craig, uh, Elijah Craig twelve year with the Viaje Oro blend from uh, Good Karma, Karma Cigars. Cigars. Yeah, um, it, 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 I'm telling you, I'm sitting here. I'm Great pair, isn't it? 
I'm enjoying myself. It I really don't want is. to move. It's not a they, super complex cigar, right? No, needs. but the Oro. I, oh, I like the Oro <laughs> blends. Yeah, his Oro blends. From the regular Oro, mm. it, all his special release Oros to me have been very special. And, and, and you know something? This is. Um, I, uh, in the cigar world, I'm concerned with all these little limited special releases. It reminds me somewhat of boutique. Beers and, and and Paul Joy was telling me this the other day when I was visiting in the shop. Yeah, we were having the same conversation. Uh, I think so it's I a dangerous. Ahead. It's a dangerous road. You know what I mean? Um, I don't mind chasing, but there, there comes to a point where you know. Well, and what Paul said was he said it was a good thing, and I agree. It's a good thing for the retailers, and I think a good thing for the consumers too. Is consumer, and we talk about limited cigars here, so I think this is a great topic, right? Your when we talk about beer, let's talk about beer, and I think we're seeing whiskey, scotch, yep. and bourbon, mm-hmm. and cigars follow the same thing. Many years ago, you had people that would come in to buy whatever we're talking mm-hmm. about, right? Cigars, beer, scotch, whatever it is. They had their favorite beer. They had their favorite cigar. They had their favorite whiskey, whatever it was. Mm-hmm. And that's what they came in and they bought. And that's what they smoked or drank or whatever. Mm-hmm. And... In all of these industries, we've seen this boutique explosion. Mm-hmm. These small, independent boutique breweries, distilleries, cigar manufacturers have cropped up to give you probably 50 times the selection that you ever had, mm-hmm. right? Like you probably had the guys before they would come in and they would buy Budweiser and they would come in and they would buy Johnny Walker and they'd come in and they'd buy Macanudu, right? And that's, that's what they had. When they had a cigar... That's what they smoked. Um, now, and I think this is great for everyone. I, I, I agree with Paul here. Now, you come in and you buy a different beer, scotch, cigar every week, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we come into the cigar shop. Obviously, what's the first question we ask? Yeah. What's new? What's new? Exactly. What's new? And we do this. I do the same thing with beer. Anything. And I'm starting to do the same thing with bourbon because there's all these new releases of bourbon. And mm-hmm. Stokey Sandler will say, well, did you try this new one, this limited one, this one here, this one mm-hmm. And it, it's just amazing the selection that you have. And I think that's changed the market in all these industries dramatically. Right. And, and the, the big key word, it seems like you use that one word, maybe cigars or bourbon, scotch, whatever, beer, is that one word limited. It's just like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I can't get it. The, the problem is, though, you never, l- the downside is you never latch on to one, mm-hmm. or rarely do you latch on to one thing. You're always mm-hmm. moving on to the next thing. So what that's done for cigar smokers is, how often do we buy boxes? Mm -hmm. We're almost always, a lot of times we're splitting boxes, right? right. Like, how often do we buy a whole box of cigars? Mm -hmm. And when you do, I find that they end up sitting now. You may end up sitting and aging, and then they get really good, and you just Mm -hmm. keep smoking them. Um, But then you start running out of room. So I I start to, when we had that conversation, I'm kind of thinking in the back of my mind is, it's kind of killing the box purchase. And I think that's why boxes of 10 in a lot of these cigars are great. Because ten is a perfect well, amount. Well, that it's that, the perfect that amount. if you see that, you got that ten fifteen because it works hand in hand. It hurt, the consumer doesn't get. Um, he comes in, he gets a fifteen count, ten count of uh, fifteen bucks a stick. Yes. Now on the flip side, the B and M turns around and he's selling ten boxes. He's all happy. Wow, mm-hmm. ten boxes! But you only look at hundred cigars, yeah. hundred fifty cigars. Yeah. So it it, it 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 seems to satisfy both needs. Yeah. Now, the kind of double-edged sword about that is, and not to, it's kind of a pun on the Viaje double-edged mm-hmm. sword, right? Because yeah, that was yeah, a limited yeah, release. Yeah, exactly. It was all very good. But the double-edged sword is, you know, I come in and I buy a limited release, and maybe I really like it. Mm-hmm. But what happens when I go in and I try one cigar of a limited release, and, and I don't, don't like, like it? it? Right. And now oh. it sits at the retailer in the B&M or even online. Now what you've got to do is you're going to blow that out, and you're going to cut your profit margins. Right. Or the evil thing in every... Cigar shop, especially, right? Or every re- any retail outlet, whether you're selling online or in a brick and mortar, is inventory. I mean, this is Tim calling back in. Sorry, Tim, we lost you there. Tim, you back? I'm back, yeah. man. So, Copy I mean, wrong. I was Sorry. just saying that, you know, inventory is evil, and it's a it's a hit or miss. And I see it in the beer selection, in, because Joyles is a liquor store mm-hmm. as well as we were there last week. I see the closeout beer mm-hmm. section too. I mean, you know, yeah. they're doing the same thing. We didn't sell all this limited releases. Now we're going to mark it down 50, 40% or whatever, mm-hmm. and we have to sell it off. And, and, and now, for look, the consumer that likes that particular one, that's great. But you're only judging on what you did last. 
Yeah. Basically. Exactly. And, and you're saying, well, well, this wasn't as good as this one and, and last year and this year. And like like I said, the, uh, let's, let's put it on spot on. The last two Monster Series. Did you think they were all that great? I thought the face was outstanding. Mm-hmm. Um, my mummies, if anyone wants to buy the rest of my box of mummies, I, I'd almost be willing to part point. with them. I'd almost be willing to part with them. I think I the mummy. Honest, dude, I traded them. Yeah, I, I think the mummies are great. And I traded them for some I don't think they're great. I think, I think the mummies good. are a good cigar. And maybe it's great is even yeah. an overstatement. I think it's a good cigar. I don't think it was worth all the hype. No. And that price point wasn't horrible on that cigar. No, then that's what happens because, again, we put. See, I think when we reach out and say boutique, boutique can be a miscued situation. Yeah. Is boutique mean numbers? To me, I guess I look at it differently. Mm-hmm. A boutique is a limited release to me. Yeah. Whereas yeah. somebody will say, oh, I'll take a we'll look at uh, Paul cigars. Small numbers, not like, uh, say, like an Ashton who will puts out, or, or, or Pepin puts out these, or Camacho. So again, boutique is a very that's a that's a slippery slope. I, I really, I, I really that's that's you got to be careful with that name for me anyway. Uh, that's how no, I feel about I, it. Yeah, I agree. Now mm-hmm. Viaje now has just transitioned into a whole model of boutique, right? Boutique, and I'm going to tell you yeah. something. I just think I don't know. I think Andre does his best at what he does, but it's been a really uh, hit. And part miss. of me, uh, we'll go down this path. Yeah. I mean, part of me thinks that. You got to have a staple. You got to have a regular line mm-hmm. to build upon. Mm-hmm. So you have a regular the line. Room, the chat room is going crazy right now on this very subject because okay. it's, it, it's frustrating to people to pick and choose what they're going to spend their budget on mm-hmm. when you don't know how good the stick is going to be. Right. Let's, let's face it. Viaje's put on some really good sticks. I love the holiday blend last year. I love the yeah. Super- no, and uh, now you guys closed out the holiday the holiday yeah. blend, and I tell you, it's smoking fantastic right now. Yeah, yeah. Mark Jr. Cleaned really them good. out, and I wish I had bought more. I think I bought five or ten, yeah. and they're awesome, awesome yeah. cigars. Mm-hmm. I knew they w- they would a year ago because those were good sticks a year ago. You yeah, know? but like um, the like the stuffed turkey. I mean, that, that was stuff. That that's what it was. Stuffed crap. <laughs> stuffed crap. Right, exactly. Now he's and now the new one, dock the, meat. Uh, well, white yeah. Meat. Well, know, then now the, the new one's cane. not coming out till Christmas. So you, right. you got some. that's targeted. point is this: If you have a limited budget, are you going to spend the money on a Viaje and you don't know if it's good? Or are you going to spend the money on a VSG Trey Mystique that right. you know it's going to oh, be good? Oh, so look at eight fifty eight and the sun groans. Yeah. Exactly, you know, and um, that Don I Carlos number four oh, yeah. stuff. I know. I, I, I you know, it's it, it's, it's an economy out there. That's a tough economy for everybody. I don't mm. care who you are, and I think would you rather smoke three re a five a fiver that you really enjoy a lot, or that like you're saying, it's a great point to get back to what you're saying, Paul. Is that box that box? I I I'm willing to bet it's fifty percent or even higher. That uh, people are scrambling now in the forums. I bet you go to forums now. You could find the mummies in a hot beat. Yeah, but you get and then you go and try to get the uh, uh, what's it, what's the one in the New York store there? The um, Barclay Rex. Barclay Rex. You can't find them. So it, that's what I'm saying. It's that hit. I get thing. people. I get people offering me for my Barclay Rex. Mm-hmm. Same really thing. Know. I I I got. Uh, what do uh, I do though? Do I mean do I sell them? Why? I don't know. I'm inclined to. Know. I'm inc- I'm inclined to keep them. I don't know. I'm kind of going back that, and forth. That's what I'm saying. So I, I, see if you then look, again, how many? So what I'm struggling with now, and I think this is a good point. You don't have any of those left, do you? Yes. You no. Know, what I'm struggling with I now. Do. Let's say, for example, I've got five or six Barclay Rex mm-hmm. left in my humidor. I think that's about what I have. Am I going to smoke all six of those? Yep. You think so? Oh, I think you will. I, I won't. I'll pop with mine. I, I like, for instance, Tim. You or or close people I know. Hey, you got, that, that's no problem. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I, I, I turn so you think close friends? If I could, part, I could part with two for close friends. Right, they want a couple more. Yeah, I could probably right. part with two. I, I right? got a. Bu- I mean, that leaves me with four. I'm kind of happy with four. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You wouldn't believe some of the stuff I traded off to get uh, some of the Pete stuff, some of the, yeah. the, the, the the monster series where I just think they. I mean, the Frank stands out to me the most. Yeah, that's my personal favorite. Right, but the other stuff, I you wouldn't believe what I traded to get for that. Well, well other other sticks, you wouldn't believe yeah. it. You just wouldn't. I, believe I guess it. I'm at the point now where I want to unload a bunch of stuff in my humidor. Mm-hmm. I really do. Mm-hmm. Zen man says you need to trade more CCs for those Rexes. Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, look, look at the pork tenderloin. I mean, 
I, I ended up getting a couple of boxes of those. And, and there's a cigar. One, I, 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 for $8. Well, that's the other thing. It's tough to know what... What's gonna smoke epically? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's really true. what it boils down to. You know, right? no, no, I don't. Uh, I guess maybe uh, the novice and people's I... tastes differ. So uh, I guess I want to find people that really want some of the sticks that I have. Mm-hmm. I want to trade. The, I, I guess trading's the way to go. And and and, and th- the way it's going for me, I think age has a lot to do with it. When I, uh, here I am. I'm, Wait, your age? My age is 159. But uh, <laughs> again, I'm in my. I'm, I'm 60 years old, and my palate has changed immensely. Mm. Mine yeah. is not about strength anymore. Mm-hmm. You know, it's everything. It's 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 the flavor. So I agree, yeah, hundred percent. You know, I, I don't just, need strength anymore. No, me either. I ju- it doesn't mean anything to me anymore. I, I think, want balance. I, I want, want something that flavor. smokes good. Exactly. And, yeah. I, I I just don't. So again, it, it it's just evolution, and the baby boomers, of baby boomers, are going to control the market at this point. Yeah, that, I think I want to. You know, speaking of limited cigars, I think I want to trade some, and I want to I want to sell some. The Barclay Rex, I think, is something you want to trade. So email Paul at stogiegeeks at gmail. I, I will trade. <laughs> yeah, Stogie saying it. Well, now, I have to say the Barclay Rex, it, it, two of those that I'm going to trade, someone's already spoken for them. So okay. yeah. someone's spoken for oh. those. And I think that's all I'd be willing to trade. Uh, you know? I got, uh, I got some. Like a, you, the Esplendidos. Imagine four-year-old Esplendidos. And that's the thing. So I, my, I my, Cuba, my Cuban collection is not as vast as a lot of other people. So mm-hmm. a lot of times what I do is I take the limited, especially Tatawahe stuff, and I trade I it trade for vintage it. Cubans. I trade Because I don't have a lot of vintage long. Cubans, right? So that's what I trade it for. Mm, that's what I did. That's how I got the 2003s, trading yeah. tats. Can, we, yeah. can you believe that? I, I probably have, oh. and our mutual friend Walt is the one that, you know, uh, he's, he, I told him, I said, I could probably part with two, for him, because he's a good friend yeah. of mine, I'd part with, you know, two faces, two Barclay Rexes, mm-hmm. and, and I, I think I'm looking for maybe a trade there, because I, I want some more vintage Cubans. Right. You know? uh, he has some, uh, well, whatever, but, um, yeah, it, 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 it just. Or maybe some pork tenderloins. Oh, I can, I can help you with that. Yeah, I, I still, need some I of those. I still haven't smoked right. that one you gave me, Stokey Santa. Thank oh, you dude, it, it, it just, it, I, 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 $8.50. Think about oh. that. I mean, that's, we're going back, what, two, three it'll years pro- ago? It'll probably make my my Christmas vacation. Be yeah, I, the oh. port, it's, yeah. And the, but that and probably the, should have ended up on some of our epic. No, that's and a good look, at, look at the Nuea. Uh, right, yeah. I mean the Reserva. I mean, hope they, they pushed it back to 2013. Yeah. Do you really think? The way Reserva is good, I don't know. Are they aging out now, do you think? I don't think so. I don't no. think they're aging no. out. No, yeah, no. I, I, those are those are those epic. Are two of them, they're, That's they're probably should end. Those are two Tatawahe releases that if you can find a Noe Reserva or a Pork Tenderloin, you got to jump on it. Yeah, those exactly. are epic, and that's why I have those. I, those are epic. I, I, I do. I enjoy those. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I and I I tell you what, I get my, as much as enjoyment sitting down with a great friend with a great drink. And sharing that cigar with yeah. someone, yeah, sharing is great. I, I, it really is. I, 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 the taste of the cigar, and the friendship. Not to be weird, to see someone to enjoy that. Well, your hand is always on my leg yeah, when we're smoking. Yeah. It is kind of weird. <laughs> it is kind of weird, right? <laughs> one, one on your leg, one on the cigar. But I, it tastes better because I see someone else enjoying that, and I really, yeah, yeah, really yeah. enjoy that. Absolutely. I, I really do. So anyway, oh, I think that's a great conclusion to our. Our segment on right. hard to find limited cigars. Share it with a um, friend. Yeah, and I I do apologize to the people who uh, have a tougher time getting some of the cigars that we talked about on the show. Um, the, you know, I certainly with the holiday season, I don't know. I felt this was a great segment to have, and I think maybe next show, Tim, the segment needs to talk about more readily available cigars. I, I really do. Yeah. I I tell you what, because there's what? some great now, uh, and I want to put age Away out of the me. equation. Right. I want to say you walk into the store. What are the great production cigars? And uh, I, I think that's going to be a very valuable segment mm-hmm. to our listeners. And, and, and last but not least, I hear a lot of people, oh, you're going to know what that's going to taste like down the road. I just don't think anyone knows that. I really yeah. don't because you're, you, you change as well it's as the cigar one. changes. Mm-hmm. But anyway. I agree 100%, I, man. Yeah, yeah, and I want to show you that, that. What I'm smoking now is very different from what I'm smoking a year or two ago. Exactly. So you change different. as cigar changes. Yeah. But I, Paul, could you hold up that? Our uh, five. Well, we've got a five pack, and we're going to throw a J, original J twenty one into that pack. Okay. Can you show that? So here's what we're going to do. Okay. This. Here's what we're going to do. We do this off air, or are we doing yeah. this? Yeah. Live stream listeners. It's going to. I'm going to. Live stream listeners, bear with me. Here's what I'm going to do.
Okay, so the answer to that question, which we read not live on the air. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. technology. It's great when it works. Um, that's for a, a Tatawahe, TAA 2012, a Tatawahe Tainos, an aged Tatawahe Noea from 2008. Phenomenal. 2008. Oh, yeah. Phenomenal. A Tatawahe Verico Tubo, the red tubo, and a Tatawahe Tattoo. Mm. And the last one, which isn't in here yet. I'll put that in there. Is uh, the original release at J twenty one. Original release J twenty one. Wow, wow, exactly. First yeah. person to email stogiegeeks at gmail dot com. There's no Frank, right? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I had to throw that out. There. <laughs> Ouch! Wow, Tim, I had to do that. Inside joke, guys. Inside joke. Inside joke. But again, yeah. uh, uh, what so we you have to be the first person to email the correct answer to stogiegeeks at gmail.com. This contest is not broadcast live because we muted the live stream. You have to listen to the pre recorded or, or post versions of the audio or video to enter the contest. Hey, could, you tell, uh, could you thank that gentleman again for the two unbanned? Alex S., thank you very much. He posted thank on you, Twitter. Thank you, thank so you, Alex. So Alex S. posted on Twitter during the show. He says, I'm going to need to step up my game for future at Stogie Geeks Unbanded Smokes Challenge accepted. Alex, you're by no means obligated. No, and, no. Uh, and Alex, we're, we're and Alex, I th- now I Alex, personally we're gonna put together for you again. All right, yeah. uh, we're going to reciprocate. Tim, but uh, when you sit, when you send that, let me know when you put that package together. I want to send something out to Alex also. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, so. thank you very yeah, much, I, Alex. There's nothing better than having Alex. Uh, and we still have one more on Bandit. I have three. Tim, do you have one of these or no? What's that? Of the A cigar A. Yeah, you and Tim could do that. I think that'd be a good idea. Do you have a cigar A, Tim? I do not. Okay. Uh, there's only two, and I think you two should do that. There's three. There's three left of Cigar Maybe A. You, you, Tim, and Mark A could do that. Yeah. You want? You don't want to do one? No, I didn't say that. I don't You're want Mark A. No, <laughs> I, I don't want Mark A to miss out on this. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't. That hasn't. No, I want Mark A. Mark A. Who's Mark A? Oh, Mark A. Uh, Mark Junior. Whatever. <laughs> it's a larger crate. Wow. <laughs> I, you're saying A? Okay. <laughs> Give me a freaking break. <laughs> focus. Focus. <laughs> oh, Camacho good God. Crow, 2001. What's that, Tim? Next week we're going to do the Camacho Crow. Yeah, oh, so uh, it's yes. a good thing to tease next week. Next week we're doing the Camacho from 2001, which is a gift to all of us from Paul Joy. We thank you very much for that. Phenomenal. Wait. It's so we it is. It's 10% pre Free embargo. Yeah. Oh, uh, I, I, yeah. I tell you what. I'm looking I forward to smoking that in the next show. It, it is. It is an epic. Epic. That will be. So up hopefully, now. in the mean, in the meantime, maybe what we'll do is we'll smoke cigar A. Yes, um, we do before the next show and, and just talk about it as something we smoked during the week, and then we'll do the reveal on the show. So next week is a not to be missed. We're doing an epic Camacho cigar. Oh, which you, you most people are it. thinking. Epic Camacho cigar. What could that be? Believe me. Believe me this when is I tell you, be this an is epic. gifted from yeah. Christian to Paul, and this is, I guarantee you, not to be found. Yes. So thanks everyone for listening. That concludes this edition of the Stogie Geek Show. Don't forget to join the CRA. Thank you yes, very much, please, Tim and Stogie please. Santa, and of course Alex S for providing two of the cigars Absolutely. we smoked on the show. Thank you, listeners. We yes. appreciate your input. And thanks yeah. to everyone in the live chat room. Exactly. Good night, guys. Thank God for this. You got fair? I don't know yet. Let me know when we are.